Snap at a page channel 5 o'clock news. Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. Good evening, your evening news at 9 here at 5 o'clock here. And on top story 5 here is. In Washington, where President Obama thanked healthcare professionals Wednesday for Friday and Ebola on the front lines in West Africa, calling them heroes who are helping secure the United States. A new report suggests that to win, Democratic candidates might need to drive black borders to turn out to 2008 and 2012 levels when Barack Obama was held on the ballot. In Lodic, Virginia, the company began the dramatic launch explosion of a space station spy. Mission promises to find the cause of the fail and it has warned residents to avoid any potentially hazardous wreckage. U.S. troops returning from Ebola stricken nations will be outside for 21 days as Defense Secretary Chuck Gagel announced on Wednesday that the day after the White House had raised concerns about states imposing strict quarantines of healthcare workers returning. IBM and Twitter announced a partnership where Twitter's data will be utilizing cloud based analysis, customer engagement platforms, and consultant services. A host of new evidence suggests that the number of Ebola cases in Liberia has declined, but healthcare workers in the United States treating the disease warned that there remains a great threat, particularly in rural areas of Lack of awareness remains problematic. Iraqi Peshmerga troops were retreated Wednesday by fellow Kurds in southeastern Turkey as, as the fighters slowly made their way toward the Syrian Kurdish border town of Kobani to try to break a state driven by Islamic State militants. In Baghdad, Islamic State group militants lined up 30 men in western Iraq and shot them dead for Wednesday in an official. And residents said the latest mass killing carried out by the group sent its events across the country. Zambia President Michael Sadat once dubbed Mr. King Cobra for his sharp tongue remarks as died in the lawn and hospital after a long illness. New York, a man decapitated his mother, dumped her body in, head on the ground outside the Long Island apartment and walked into the path of moving commuter drain, police said on Wednesday. The second anniversary of Superstorm Sunday arrived on Wednesday in the region where recovery in New Jersey and New York is up, and unevenly with many houses, boardwalks, and businesses rebuilt, but many people still unable to return to their homes. And then the young man who fatally stabbed and shot a fellow Purdue University student early this year has been found dead from apparent suicide in his prison cell, state correct officials said on Wednesday. In Washington, Federal Reserve cited an improving economy Wednesday and has ended a landmark bond buying program and appointed a job. Market gains are keen condition for eventual interest rate act. Stocks weakened and bonds sold off Wednesday after the Fed surprised Wall Street with a slightly more hawkish tone that suggested it may be a more aggressive with a rate tax than markets had expected. CEO John Chen says that the company is committed to earning back your business with its next phone, the Blackberry Classic. Microsoft handed a pink slips in the third round of job cuts and almost concludes his plan to eliminate 18,000 jobs. MCX says merchants doing what's best comes to being tapped. Technology giant. HP has announced the launch of a 3D printer that claims it to be 10 times faster than current models as the company will unveil a new computer with a built in scanner, projector, and touchpad in the event in New York on Wednesday. Bruce Jenner might have six children and four stepchildren, but he chose to fly Seoul yesterday as he headed out to Malibu on his 65th birthday for a pampering session. The Terminator is having a bad day. It's a muggy July afternoon in New and the temperature is loaded in triple digits and honored Schwarzenegger's inside a giant warehouse on the grounds of NASA's Mitchell Assembly Facility as a first look at the Terminator and Genesis. Amel Air Up Mystery may hinge on aluminum plane part. Scientists have been eluded for many years and have covered in the reality beyond space weather. Although it sounds preposterous and more alien like, yet space and weather has significant importance in our lives. In Atlanta, a nurse who feels you all fears by flying to Cleveland after being infected by her dying patient is taking calling in her caregivers for a recovery. One day, when it comes to heart disease, a new study finds women are le more likely than men to lay care, and when they have symptoms that spell trouble, men who sleep with lots of women may be likely to less. Likely to develop prostate cancer than men who don't play the field. Two new studies explore the genetic basis of autism and time mutations and under the genes that are disease. Take a look at stock market report here. U.S. stock market Dow Jones 69.4.31, down 31.44. SP 519.82.30, down 2 and 3 quarters. And that's at 45.49.23, down 15.07. European market. Dex 92.81 up 14.62. FTSE 6453.87 up 51.70. CAC 4041.10.64 down 2.03. Asia markets Nikkei 15553.91 up 224. Shanghai 2373.20 up 
HSI 23890.87 up to 99.31. Oil market, same 195 up 53 cents. Brent A6.92 up 89 cents. And natural gas 3.795 up 64. That's the other point. Gold markets 12.180 up 17. Down 17.60 points. Silver 17.075 down 151,000 points. Copper 3.079 down 14,000 points. Bonds. US 10 yield 2.321% down up 3,000. 37,000 points up. Germany 10 yield 0.998% up 8,000 points. And Germany 10 yield 0.462% down 3,000 points. Effects bonds. European US dollar 1.2631 and change. U.S. style Germany yen 108.87 down 130 point and Great Japan U.S. style 1.6009 unchanged. Take a look at New England Slurps here at 505 here and it shows. In Manton, Chester, New Hampshire, where traumatic injury on South Main Street at Bonnie Street at CEO's Port of subject fell with head injury. Police bomb required. And in New Hampshire, Manchester, New Hampshire, a technical rescue of 1,000 Elm Street of elevated number four, multiple units on S3. Part time from elevator. And Massachusetts Lawn said second alarm on 83 Cambridge Street, CMDs report an every second on arrival. And take a look at sports news here. Our winner take all, game number seven. San Francisco Giants take down the Kansas City Royals. It is a San Francisco Giants won all about living on the edge during the 2012 postseason, winning one. Six elimination games, the Lions share the club and the reins in place. After losing rookie for Power for Julius Randle to Brooklyn like this season opener Tuesday, the Lakers won't have long to lick their wounds. The Bash brother, Jose Canseco, has only himself to Bash after shooting his middle finger clean off of the sand yesterday and later posted a picture of his recovery efforts to Twitter on Wednesday. Judge ran back Todd Gurley suspended until November 15th as he'll take on Auburn for Georgia. In Foxborough, Massachusetts, Tom Brady wanted to make one thing perfectly clear Wednesday as he met reporters in advance in another showdown against Peyton Manning. In tonight, the Boston Celtics will open up the 2014-2015 um, season. The vast virus database has been updated. Tonight, the Boston Celtics will open the 2014-2015 regular season against the Brooklyn Nets. Game time, Sunday p.m. at TD Garden. Peter Chow News on 507. Time now for the travel report here. And it shows Steffi says pressure to step on side of this. Back up from the pikes all the way down through Route 203 and Dorchester. And he hit the brakes again from Milton all the way down to the brain tree split. 93 in the south side, sold from the Islamic Square in Somerville down to Second Bridge and Tippin Hill Tunnel on 93. Sloan Buff ends as there's going to be a basketball game tonight at the TD Garden. Celtics hang on to Brooklyn. Next, so expect delays around the area of the North Station and on the T as well. Here, Mass Parkland on the westbound side, also from both ends from Logan Airport down to 93, and you hit the brakes again on westbound of Matt Spike from Austin Red Tolls down to the Newton Corner here. Matt Spike eastbound south through Newton Corner here. But otherwise, you are smooth sailing after you pass the little slow spot around. After you pass 120 Western, you're good to go from Western all the way down to Sturbridge here. 120 on the southbound side, so from Route 97 to Beverly down for Peabody. And then 120 on the northbound side, so from Route 2 in Lexington and all the way down to Route 3 in Lexington, and then hit the brakes again from Route 3 in Le Burlington all the way out to Route 114 in Peabody here. Route 129 is up on side, so from Island Avenue to Route 135 in Needham, doing an exit on 95, 120 northbound side, southbound side near Route 135 in Needham here. And 120 on the step on side, sold from Route 20 and both of them all the way down to Route 9 and Wellesley here. Route 3 on the north on side, sold from Route 120 all the way up in Bill Ricker here. 93 and 95 and 105 from 128 to the New Hampshire border. And 93 north and also around Route 20 and in Salem, New Hampshire. 495 north and also from Route 149 and over down to downtown Lawrence around exit 44. One. 495 and the northbound side sold from Route 3 in Chelsea all the way down to Tewksbury. Route 3 and the northbound side will sold from Low all the way down to Chelmsford here. And Route 495 south sold from Route 38 to Route 3 in, in Chelmsford here and in Tewksbury here. Route 495 and the southbound side sold from Route 20 Marlboro all the way down to the Mass Pike in Westbury. Due to the accident on the Mass Pike near Route 49 for Westbury here. 
Route 24 and stop on side, so from Route 45, right in the all the way down to Route 140 and talk near. But otherwise, 95 and 24 mile five from 128 to the run out board, except for a slow spot at 95 on the stop on side. From Route 152 to North Alabama, down for Route 295 in Alabama here. Route 3, a little slow around the split, 120 and on the stop on side, backed up from Route 1 and Melbourne all the way out to the Brain Tree split, 120 and the North side, slow from the split, all the way down for Randolph here. Route 3 backed up, Route 3 over as more fine from Brain Tree all the way down to Sandmore. Route 20 in the north fence had slow around the bottom right about the bottom and second bridge of the Mullen Pine here. And 195 of the westbound side backed up from Route 44 in the east Providence down to the downtown Providence. One, route 95 south slow from the protected S curves and Route 126 in protected all the way down through downtown Providence and all the way down through the 610 connector. 95 north fence side backed up from Route 37 all the way down through 1A. 99 Bond fine from Lincoln Wooden Socket, 146 slow from 295 and Lincoln all the way to down to North Smithfield here. 295 step on slow from Route 6 in Johnson to Route 14 in Johnson here. And 95 northbound slow from 37 in Mark all the way down for downtown Providence. And Jamestown to Newport Bridges are more on fine here. And And we got MBTA delays here in the Silver Line. Silver Line SL1 experience with minor delays due to traffic here. And Silver Line 4 experience with minor delays due to traffic here. And commuter rail here. Framingham Worcester Line. Current Framingham Worcester Line. Train 508, 528, 440 p.m. from Worcester Union Station. Delayed today, 10 to 15 minutes due to mechanical problems there. Elevator 834. And Needham. And on the Newbury Port Rock Line, the Newbury Port Rock Port Line train number 67, 445 from North Station delayed today due to police action and operator may outspot me 15 to 20 minutes late. And Newbury Port Rock Port Line train 126, 358 p.m. from Rockport delayed due to the police action, operating 20 to 25 minutes late. And Sam Station, new high level platforms are available. And Friday, Sam Station, the Sam Garage will be closed from 8 p.m. till 1 a.m. on Howie Night. No vehicles will be permitted on in after uh, that time here. Peter Jones News on 513 down and for the weather report here on this. Wednesday evening our current nations here in North Massachusetts 69 degrees at temperature where first got screwed the least 33 percent with speed south about eight miles per barometer. Twenty nine percent seven inches two put about six degrees and visibly at ten miles. Alright, let's take a look at current nations man in region here. It's seventy three out of Boston, sixty three out in Fitchburg, six five in Bed but in Beverly, 61 in Gloucester and Haverhill, 59 in Worcester, 69 in Sturbridge, 69 in Webster, 72 in Milford, 73 in Norwood, 72 in Taunton, 67 in New Bedford, 66 in Thomas, 62 in Chatham, 64 in Provincetown, 64 in Murphy's Vineyard, 65 in Nantucket, 63 out in Cape Cod Bay, 61 in Balkan, 67 in Westley, 70 out in Providence, 72 in Smithfield, 68 in New York City, 68 in Nislip, 67 in Montauk, 61 in Long Island, 69 in Bridgeport, 68 in New Haven, 62 in Denbury, 63 in Waterbury, 69 in Meriden, 6-1 out of Hartford and Winslow. It's 59 in Springfield, 56 in Amherst, 58 out of Greenfield, 58 in Athol, 50 out of Pittsfield, 54 in North Amherst, 56 in Albany, New York. It's 54 in Bainton and Rutland, Vermont, 51 in Bradbury, Vermont, 57 in Keenan, Jefferson, Hampshire, 55 in Laquan, Hampshire, 58 in Cogan, Hampshire, 59 in Manchester, Hampshire.
63 in National Hampshire, 61 in Boston Hampshire, and 69 in Portland, Maine. Here, check out your current conditions. Rain, the nation here. So, stay straight front from Eastern Arizona, stretching out in Nova Mexico, down for 7 Texas, and down for Louisiana. Here, and a cold front from Mississippi, stretching out in Alabama and Georgia, up to Carolina's up in the Atlantic Seaboard, and up to New England, and up in the Southeast of Quebec. More front from Nova Maine, down for New Brunswick, and pink front from Eastern Quebec. And stay straight front from Seminole, Alberta, down for Eastern Manitoba, down for Western Dakota, and down for Nebraska. Here, Front by off the bridge coming down for Washington coastline. Front by from Central Bridge coming down for Washington, Oregon here. And a front by down for California coast. And a front by from Eastern Nevada down for the Western Arizona low pressure in the, each of these front of boundary lines here. And a front by from Western Quebec down for Ontario down for Michigan here. Low pressure in the north from Montana. Got high pressure. A triangle high pressure in that region in the Central Rockies. And a high pressure down for northeastern Oklahoma. And a low pressure in Southern Virginia here. 51 degrees on temperature right now. Detroit, it's 56 out in Pittsburgh, 57 in Washington, D.C., 70 out in Atlanta, 84 in Miami, Florida, 86 in Brownsville, Texas, at 74 in Dallas, Texas, 57 out in Kansas City, 54 in Omaha, Nebraska, 46 in Chicago, 41 in Minneapolis, 60 out in Great Falls, Montana, and Seattle, Washington, 61 in San Francisco, 74 in Los Angeles, 76 in Las Vegas, 60 out in Salt Lake City, 68 in Denver, 67 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, it's 86 out in Phoenix, and 76 in Las Vegas. Here. And. Take a look at radar situation here. And shells. A lot of rain charts from southern Vermont, Napa, southern New Hampshire, Napa, central western Massachusetts, and then for western Connecticut, Napa, eastern New York State. And this is a lot of rain showers. A little lot of rain showers around the South Shore area. East of Brockton and around Weymouth and around Hingham and around Hull, Crasset and Line of Rain Shards are embedded pockets of showers and storms off the Boston Auburn and off the North Shore here. As we take a look, zoom out and then it shows a lot of rain showers from eastern Quebec and the Brunswick can stretch of the dam from New England and southern New York. Eastern Pennsylvania Avenue, New Jersey, and down for Eastern Virginia, down for Central Carolina, down for Georgia, Southern Alabama, and Mississippi, down for Louisiana, down for Southeastern Gulf Coast of Texas here, and a line of rain showers off the Florida Gulf Coast. Rain showers in the Dakotas, down for Eastern Montana. Rain showers in the northwest portions of Nebraska. Rain showers in Western Michigan. Rain sleet and snow showers in seven and northeastern portions of Ontario, line of rain sleet and snow showers in western portions of Quebec. Line of rain snow showers in northeastern Alberta and west central portions of Saskatchewan. Rain showers in central portions of Alberta. Rain sleet and snow showers in southeastern and east central portions of British Columbia. Rain showers run southern and southeastern portions of Oregon and northwestern portions of California. And rain showers in southern portions of Idaho. Here. And take a look at satellite picture here. And then it shows a line of clouds coming in much to eastern. Portion region from Atlantic Canada, stretch of the Dan for Georgia, Dan for the Southeast of State, down for Southern Texas here. Line clouds come from Illinois, Indiana, and Howard, down for Western Pennsylvania, and out of New York State. Line clouds from Quebec, down for British Columbia, and line clouds coming from the Great Lakes, down to Dakotas, up in the Northern Rockies, and up to the Pacific Seven Office, and the Northern California, down for Central Nevada here, and line clouds off the Baja Cover Coastline in California here. And let's take a look what is Happening in the tropics here. An area of low pressure is formed just north of the Leeward Islands and is producing a large area of tsunami showers and thunderstorms. All the up of all the winds are not particularly conductive. Some Development is determined as possible during the next day, so while it moves west northwestward to northwestward at 10 to 50 miles an hour after that time, conditions are forecast to become unfavorable for tropical cyclone formation while the system is turning northward. Formation chart for hours. Medium about 30% and formation chart for a day. Medium about 30%. Here. And here Silent images indicate that the area of low pressure located similar to miles south of the Acapulco, Mexico is becoming safe. Better defined, and a tropical depression could be forming in environmental conditions that are conducted for further development in a tropical depression that is expected to form by. Tonight, while the low moves west northwest for about 5 miles by 4 h fires. 
Hang 100% and formation chance five days. Hang near 100% here. And no trouble stack was affected at Central Pacific in Friday morning here. And let's take a look at the fort. Just discuss it around the country here. Heavy preservation over the parts are the northwest possible. A front along the eastern the Gulf Coast will move eastward out of the Atlantic and southward into the Gulf of Mexico. A part of the battery will lay over the seventh tip of Friday. A Florida Thursday evening and a Friday. Shards of thunderstorms will dwell along the front over the southeast that will move southeastward over the Atlantic by Thursday afternoon. Shards of thunderstorms also linger over the parts of the Florida by Thursday evening and a Friday. In addition, rain will dwell over along the front too from the northeast to the parts of the middle will likely move out. Over the Atlantic by late Thursday morning, a storm over the northern plains will move eastward to the Great Lakes Swamp, but the associated boundary will move southeastward from the northern Ohio plains to the southern plains. Lower Mississippi Valley or our Valley by Friday and light rain will develop over parts of the upper Midwest that will move eastward to the Great Lakes and expand southward to the Tennessee Valley. But likewise, by Friday, light snow will develop over the parts of the upper Great Lakes of Friday morning and shadows of dust will develop over parts of the southern plains and lower Rio Grand Valley on Thursday evening of the Friday. Elsewhere, wake up a little of energy will lay in the prudence light rain over parts of the Pacific Northwest on Wednesday evening and the Thursday ahead of a Nexus and the Nexus and will be over the Pacific and will move onshore over the West Coast on Thursday night and the Friday morning. The front will bring light to moderate rain to the Pacific Northwest on Thursday evening but will taper off the light rain extending from the Pacific Northwest to Central California by Friday morning here. And take a look at forecast discussion. Showers can include be on a cold front. Pushing offshore tonight, seasonal and drier weather falls at the end of the week under high pressure. A coastal zone will likely deliver a glance in both to the region late Saturday and Sunday. But the opportunity for a higher impact still exists. Mainly dry weather falls with a significant warming trend will be by next Tuesday and Wednesday. Cold front pushing across southern New England with shy weather and thicker clouds in tow. Conditions continue warming beneath the thin veil of mid to low high level clouds. Southwest will continue to gust in excess of 25 miles per long the south southeast shoreline. Main concern for the remainder of the forecast period into this evening is the time of showers ahead of our main driving force. That beyond the stretch mid-level front access with conditions warming across southeast New England beyond the a conditionally unstable environment. Echo overnight forecast spot concerning that the possibility of an isolated thunderstorm or two across southeast New England and nothing severe. As I had expect the band of showers with a mid of heavier downforce to march across the region into the evening beneath favorable deep layer ascent. We have the high resolution WRF guidance and HRRRF. Good handle on the present situation. A bit slight differences could see the line of shot become diffused with its track into the 70s. Speculate this to be consequential with stretch mid level energy and perhaps the cold front becoming too separate from its parent mid level throw. Also, perhaps as the cold front pushes offshore towards a better voice instability access activity reps that trips activity to the west, all sorts of factors by that side. Not a big deal. But just sweeping wet weather anchor here. Already 32 degrees at the Taunton Weather Office here. And expected conditions continue warming in the mid 70s for a south suburban. When there's a bit under the wrap, appears good enough for regards to two medium temperatures not, not and on the warm front all that well here. Okay, let's take a look at first weather notes here. A very chill for Halloween. Winds held this weekend. Not much participation here. High temperatures, bills at 75. Boston Waltham at 74 degrees and rain trees 73 and Worcester at 67 degrees. And the water temperature is 56 degrees here. Tomorrow's highs will be 53 to 60 degrees here. And tonight's lows are predicted about 39 and 48 degrees. If you've got Halloween evening, it's going to be cool and chilly, 48 degrees. So if you're going trick or treating with the young ones here, moms and dads, make sure your kids have an extra layer of clothes to go on. Over their costumes here because it's going to be a chilly Halloween this year. And for the storm, it will be a rough and shower day on tap for Saturday. And strong winds on the coastline and no accumulating snow. Cold and bright on Sunday at daylight, same time ends at 2 a.m. on Sunday. So, the last thing you do before you go to bed on Saturday night, make sure you set the clock back one hour here. For the time, Boston, at low tide at 10 19 p.m. Cape Cod, low tide, 10.14 p.m. Sunset, 5.41 p.m. And about 17 minutes from now, and air quality 5.2 to moderate. 
LG Look, Thursday, 0.9, low, Friday, 0.7 minutes low, and UV, 3 out of 12. All right, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast that goes like this. Here, for today, we're going to see a chance of shots, mainly before 1 a.m. here, and class guys then gradually clearing toward daybreak with a high, low around 42 degrees, and northwest wind, 5 to 9 miles per hour, with a gust as high as 24 miles per hour, and is 50%. New principal amounts of that's a 10 minutes possible. Thursday, increased clouds with high about 57 degrees and northwest wind about 3 to 6 miles per hour. Thursday, night, clouds got lower at 35 degrees and northwind about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Friday, a slight chance of showers after 2 p.m. Put the sky about 34 degrees and light variable wind becoming east at about 5 to 7 miles per hour in the morning. Chance rate to 20%. Friday, night, chance of showers mainly after 11 p.m. Most clouds got lower about 42 degrees and chance rate to 30%. Saturday, rain luckily mainly after 1 p.m. Clouds got high about 49 degrees and chance rate to 6%. Saturday, night, Chance of rain, clouds got low about 34 degrees and breezy. Chance of elevation 50%. And for Sunday, part of the sun's got about 44 degrees and windy skies. Sunday night, part of the sun's got low about 29 degrees. Monday, sun's got about 49 degrees. Monday night, both of the sun's got low about 28 degrees. Tuesday, both of the sun's got about 50 degrees. So that, both of the sun's got low about 43 degrees. And for Wednesday, part of the sun's got about 61 degrees. Peters, what a phrase of the evening. A low chance of shots and Temps gonna go downhill from here beginning tomorrow. Peter J. Wednesday, but a good evening with a good positive. I'll see you for an 11 o'clock report. Have a good evening. I'll see you at 11. Have a good evening.